Hello friends. I have a fellow pastor of mine that lives in Florida and I've known him for a long time. He's pastored as long as I have and recently he's been preaching through the Old Testament book of Job which which is no easy task. But I've watched their online worship services and I've done so. I found several verses in the book of Job that I'd apparently overlooked in the past. And one such verse is found in Job 10 verse 12 where we find these words, you gave me life and showed me kindness and in your care you watched over me. And I read a verse like that and, and the word that comes to my mind is grace. God's grace freely given. It's seen throughout the scriptures, David the psalmist became David the adulterer, but by God's grace he became a psalmist again and Israel's greatest king. Peter actually denied knowing Jesus three times before he began to preach the gospel to the masses. Zacchaeus was a thief. Lakato writes that the cleanest part of his life was the money that he'd laundered. But Jesus still had time for him and brought him into the kingdom of God. Even the thief on the cross was hell-bent one minute and heaven-bound the next minute because of his encounter with the grace of Jesus Christ. Story after story of God's grace can be found in the Bible. And story after story of God's grace can be found in our neighborhoods, our places of employment. In fact, I would challenge you today and try and find just one person who came to God looking for grace but didn't find it. You'll lose that challenge. Again, Job 10, 12, it says, you gave me life and showed me kindness, and in your care you watched over me. That is God's grace. An amazing grace, a wonderful grace, a marvelous grace, freely dispensed. So let's be sure to be thankful. Would you pray with me now? Lord, we thank you for the riches of your grace. As the acrostic puts it, God's riches at Christ's expense. Jesus died in our place making payment for our sinfulness through your shed blood so that we might know eternity in heaven. And we, we can't thank you, Jesus, enough for doing so. But we're going to keep on trying. So thank you. We pray this in your precious name. Amen. If you get the chance, and I'm sure you will, why not dispense some of God's grace this coming week to those in need? God bless. I won't see you tomorrow. We're going to be recording our worship service tomorrow, but I hope that you have a blessed and enjoyable weekend.